Hello, 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 my beautiful lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to the channel, you just so happen to stumble upon this video. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Shanetta from Shanetta's Divine Tarot here on YouTube. And on this channel, I love to make tarot picker cards, tarot readings, and I love to make other spiritual related videos like this one. So at any time, at any point, you resonate with myself, you vibe with the channel, make sure you subscribe, join the family, hit the notification bell so you do not miss out when I post future videos like so let's go okay so you guys really quick before we jump into today's video I just want to express my gratitude for over 15,000 subscribers okay 15,000 subscribers I have 15,000 subscribers I have 15,000 people that really being with me and that really love me and love my content so shout out to you guys I love you guys so much more amazing greatness is coming it's on the way and I'm excited to see where this channel will be six months from now okay pick a card go ahead and check that out but um yeah so but anyways I'm so excited for that okay so jumping right into today's video I know you guys read the title and you're like what this is not a pick a card no this is actually a video um, explaining the ways that I like to de-stress I like to raise my vibration and tap into my creativity um, so that I can live my best life because you are what you attract and if you are a low vibe if you are a low vibrational person or if you're surrounded by low vibrational things you are going to attract other low vibrational things so this is very crucial these are just five you know just five not ten five this is just five ways that I personally like to de-stress raise my vibration and you know really connect with my inner child my creativity and you guys can definitely easily apply these five steps into your everyday ritual so that you can be high vibrational at all times so basically with all that being said you guys we're gonna jump into today's video Okay, so jumping right into the video, okay, so basically low vibration, you know, feeling stressed, feeling anxiety, feeling angry, feeling sad, feeling depressed, feeling lonely, feeling sad. Did I say sad, you know, feeling all of these lower vibrational energies, um, feeling that really puts an effect on your mental health, your physical health, and you know, it's not good to feel that way. So anytime that you do feel that way, it's important that you catch yourself and it's important that you do certain activities or certain things to counteract those low vibrational feelings and emotions. All right, you guys, and it's okay. I'm natural, I'm human. I, I get that way too, you know, because life is busy. We have so much going on, constantly on social media, constantly scrolling like ooh, but you know we we can do this we got this so number one thing the first thing that I highly recommend for anybody for everybody I don't care who you are how old you are this is the foundation this is the root okay if you want to be high vibrational if you want to be positive if you want to attract abundance love happiness success you need to meditate okay I tell everybody this and you know I talk about it all the time but that's because it is the foundation it is the key it is the principle meditation is what everybody needs it okay okay I get it you know if you don't really meditate and you're you're caught up in the everyday the nine to five and you're just so stressed and you're just so upset and you're uptight and you just are so tense meditation doesn't really sound appealing um, because I was there you know I would just be so frustrated I would be so angry and everybody would be like hey just meditate and I never really took the advice but the days that I did meditate my day at work bless that old job my day at work it was so much smoother it was so much better you are what you attract so if you take out at least three minutes or two minutes or one minute starting out if you if you take some time for yourself every day and you meditate you are going to be more positive you're going to be more happy your mind is going to be less cluttered it's gonna be more clear I recommend to at least take some deep breaths when you first wake up you don't have to have a full meditation session I would highly recommend it because that's a beautiful way to start out your day but for the beginners out there you can do this and I'm holding you accountable because it's so simple the quickest way to raise your vibration and to instantly feel happy is just to take some breaths okay it's a form of self-love if you're not you know 
consciously, mindfully breathing, you need to start implementing that. You know, even right now as you're watching this, go ahead and take a deep breath in. Breathe it out. So, you know, just take your breaths, just meditate. And if you already do meditate, perfect. You're on the right track. At least starting with taking some breaths is the perfect way to instantly raise your vibration. And remember, I'm gonna keep saying this throughout this video, you are what you attract. If you are not taking time out for yourself to just breathe, you're going to attract other people who do not take time out for themselves and breathe. And what happens when two people that need to breathe, that aren't breathing, come together, it's altercation, it's anger, it's frustration. You know what I'm saying? So number one, the foundation, the key to success is meditation, is the breathing. All right, you guys, if you want a more in-depth video on meditation, let me know down below, okay? So number two, the number two, the, the second way that I like to de-stress and I like to declutter my mind and I like to raise my vibration is aromatherapy. Aromatherapy, also known as oil diffusing or essential oils, you know, is a perfect way to instantly chill out or instantly energize or instantly focus. Essential oils are so amazing and I feel like people are sleep on the essential oils. So let's go ahead and wake up, you guys. You can use it for anything. I use essential oils for my laundry. I make a DIY essential oil spray, you know, perfume, room spray. You can even make a bathroom spray. Highly recommend, don't recommend toxic, you know, Febreze, don't do that, you know. 2019, look at the ingredients. But anyways, so essential oils, they're beneficial, but the number one way that I like to enjoy my essential oils is with a diffuser okay you guys so this diffuser right here it is very beautiful it's my new diffuser I love it it's bigger than my last one so it's an upgrade but anyways you know instantly you can you know raise your vibration by using essential oils some of the essential oils that I personally like to use you know to each his own you can do your own thing but these are what I like to you know use and what I vibe with number one I love orange essential oil orange essential oil is just so uplifting it's just so high vibrational when you smell it it just makes you want to freaking dance okay uh, peppermint essential oil it's just so awakening it just awakens your senses you know so if you're just waking up and you want to be energized but you don't want the lemon you don't want the orange peppermint it's very calming and it's also good for the respiratory system Essential oil is just so beautiful. It has so many benefits, but this is just a way that you can raise your vibration and just feel better. You know what I'm saying? So we have orange, we have lemon and a eucalyptus blend. I personally like that. Peppermint. They also have frankincense, which is the most high vibrational essential oil, I believe. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but fire. Okay, you guys. So Yes, if you want to check out the diffuser that I personally have, it will be linked in the description box down below. I really recommend this one. It's awesome. Two drops of it makes my whole large bedroom smell freaking beautifully like the essential oil and two drops that's not a lot so this bad boy is a beast i really recommend it it's budget friendly and if you're interested it's listed down below but yes number two the second way that i like to chill out raise my vibration and just you know be high vibrational is essential oils it's beautiful also if you have you know if you need to calm down you know lavender put a little bit of that with some oil you want to mix it and put it on your wrist and throughout the day smell it you know what I'm saying so it's just so multi-purpose if you're taking a spiritual bath and you want to cleanse yourself put some eucalyptus in your essential oil eucalyptus is perfect for cleansing removing any unwanted energies or vibrations you know what I'm saying so really recommend it so there is that we're gonna move on to the third way that I like to de-stress raise my vibration and tap into my inner child my creativity all right you guys so creativity is a really big perfect way to raise your vibration and to really help you be more mindful all right so 
Tapping into your creativity, you could do anything that's creative. Me personally, I love to sing. You will always catch me singing. You know, everybody that knows me, they know that I be singing just because it's, it's something that's very therapeutic for me. Some people like to dance. Some people like to write. Some people like to draw. Some people like to color like myself. Okay, you guys? So I had a very special person reach out to me and they asked me if I would like to show you guys one of their beautiful coloring books. And this is is really cool because this is actually a healing crystals coloring book so it's totally into what I represent it's into what I support and so she sent me this and I was like oh my gosh that's so sweet and I fell in love with it I kid you not you guys I got some, I got carried away like I, I this is so beautiful so literally because I have not colored in years you guys and so when she sent me this and I finally sat down with it and I started coloring instantly I was just so zen I was so peaceful coloring is really a way that you can be more mindful you can be more in the moment you can focus on one thing instead of worrying about social media instead of worrying about what's going on or you have work in the morning taking the time to you know kind of focus and distract not distract yourself but taking some time out for yourself to you know color in the lines and to focus and to think about what color you're going to use next it's a really good way to raise your vibration and i i took some time on this bed but i'm proud of this like this is so beautiful so you guys highly recommend this okay i find that coloring is very therapeutic for some people they enjoy writing for some people you know they enjoy both but just something about coloring and blending the colors and doing all these beautiful things you know making something your own is very therapeutic there's nobody judging you it's a judge free zone you know you don't have to worry about all the craziness that's going outside of your coloring book you know what i'm saying another fun fact um is that coloring and color colors also tie into chakras so whatever you know your intention is for the day possibly you know you can pick out a page you can color it say that you want you know to be more safe stable to feel more secure to feel safe you would use the color red for your root chakra say you wake up one day and you just want to be super connected to the spiritual realms you just want to get all of the downloads from the universe you would color a nice purple picture colors is a beautiful way to raise your vibration and also balance out your chakras and get in tune with the chakras you're feeling you know like you want to open your heart you want to feel love you want to embrace love you want to receive love then you would like to color with greens and pinks that represent the heart chakra okay are you having a hard time communicating or expressing how you feel to your partner or to your friends you would want to color with blue a blue represents the throat chakra as well as the third eye but you know what I'm saying so colors is a beautiful way to enhance 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 your chakras to, to activate your chakras to get them running and get them aligned and also just to raise your vibration to de-stress for all the adults and this is actually an adult coloring book which is so cool um, I feel like you know growing up being so busy with work being so busy you know with the the nine to fives and all of that craziness we kind of forget that we were once a child and children were all about having fun using their imagination so I fell in love with this. It's so therapeutic and it's really a good way to end your night. I was sipping some catnip tea last night and I was spending some time on this and I just felt like a kid again. I love it. I used a lot of pinks, I used a lot of blue, a lot of green. So heart chakra, you know, throat chakra, a little bit of purple, you know, some spirituality up in there. I really recommend this you guys and I love it. I'm going to be repurchasing this, you know, for myself and some of my friends. I love it. It's really sweet. And if you guys are interested, the dis the link will be in the description box down below. You can definitely check it out. It's very affordable. It's budget friendly. I love it. And if you guys want to help support the channel, I do get a little bit of um, commission from the sale, but it is no extra charge to you. Okay, so the number four, the fourth way that I like to de-stress, I like to heighten my vibration, raise that bad boy through the roof is mindfulness now okay mindfulness some of you guys have heard of it some of you are like what is that mindfulness is basically a 
thought process you know it's the way that you think mindfulness for example is being very present mindfulness is being present in the moment being aware of your surroundings being aware of what's going on around you so for example uh, a perfect way that you watching this right now you can practice mindfulness is pick something up pick it up all right you guys so me i'm going to go ahead and pick up my water bottle because <laughs> you know i love water so look at it how does this water bottle look what colors do you see okay i see black i see clear i see water i see liquid okay now how does it feel it feels pretty solid feels like plastic if i drop it it won't break feels like i need a new one okay how does it smell okay it smells like nothing how does it taste so the water bottle i'm not going to taste it but i'm going to taste the water refreshing so and I'm not trying to be funny here this is just how you be mindful being mindful is taking that extra moment taking that extra time you're not rushing notice I'm actually really analyzing all of the qualities and aspects of this water bottle I'm not just looking at it and saying oh it's a water bottle cool I'm going deeper that's practicing mindfulness mindfulness is you know really being mindful at what you're looking at what's around you another beautiful way that you guys can practice mindfulness is looking outside at your window what do you see how are the trees moving in the wind how is the grass flowing how long is the grass how short is the grass okay any birds chirping what's going on outside be mindful be present you can do this anywhere you can do this anytime any day anywhere it doesn't matter who is around there is no excuse doing this form of mindfulness mindfulness will instantly increase and raise your vibration and also de-stress your mind because you switch your mindset from being stressed from being worried from having anxiety over to just focusing on the beauty of nature do you see that your thought process what are you thinking about okay what are you thinking about what are you consuming what are you watching what are you hearing what are you reading they all tie into it and you know <laughs> Everything holds a vibration. The music you listen to, it holds a vibration. So if you're listening to music that talks about shooting somebody, it talks about, you know, doing bad things, you're going to attract that and you're going to question and be like, why is all this stuff happening to me? You're attracting it. So we're, think of it like we're magnets. So what we put into our body, what we surround ourselves with, it comes back to us what you're listening to what you're eating another thing an instant way for you to heighten and raise your vibration is to be mindful of what you're eating so of course we know that plants fruits vegetables they're the most high vibrational foods that you can put in your body because they are living okay so you know meats processed foods all of that is the lowest vibrational thing that you could put in your body so you'll notice that when you eat a large meal from mcdonald's you'll just feel sluggish you feel horrible but that's because what you put in your body is going to be um it's going to be um, coming out of you. You know, that's how you're going to feel. That's what you're going to attract. So just be very mindful. Be very, very, very mindful of who you're around, what, what you're eating, what you're listening to, um, what you're watching on the TV. That's another thing, okay, you guys? The fifth way, the fifth way, okay, that I love, love, love to de-stress and raise my vibration is dun -dun 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 -dun, positive affirmations okay guys so positive affirmations by now I hope you guys know about them but if you don't positive affirmations are basically um, sentences that you can say to yourself you can listen to them you can you know whatever all right so for example positive affirmations I am so happy and grateful that I have the best life that I'm happy that I'm fulfilled okay I am I'm beautiful I am love I am secure I am safety I am abundant I am successful I am productive so we listen to positive affirmations every night every single night because what a lot of people don't know is a your subconscious mind is constantly running so you know why not take advantage of the eight 
or seven or six or nine hours of sleep that we have every night and reprogram that subconscious mind with beautiful things because you know our subconscious mind is always running that's why it's so important to be very mindful and pay attention to what we are listening to who are who we are around what they're talking about what's going on on the tv all of it because your subconscious mind is always running even though your conscious mind might be like okay that's bad your subconscious mind is like a child it knows no difference it doesn't know the difference between good or bad it just takes in all the information positive affirmations you guys every single night we listen to them and our life had our lives have drastically changed right before our eyes everybody says it and when i first started i was like they're they're over exaggerating but no I, I recommend them. I tell, I tell my family to listen to it. I tell you guys to listen to it. I tell my clients because they are life changing. I'm abundant. I'm successful. I'm wealthy. I am in charge of my emotions. I am in charge of my feelings. And today I'm choosing to be love and to be happy. Positive affirmations, words in general, they hold vibrations. This universe, it's all ran by vibrations. So what vibrations you're putting out will come back to you. Okay, you got to hit a rough smart on them. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, you guys, so I would highly recommend it. Positive affirmations. Listen to them while you're sleeping. 21 days. Do it for 30 days. Notice a difference. They have positive affirmations for everything, okay? So wrapping up today's video, I really hope this got this helped you guys. If you want a part two, let me know because I have facts on facts on facts. I have some information that I love to share with you guys. So let me know. Comment down below if you like this video, if you want to see a part two. Um, but yes, you guys, I highly recommend that you guys start to implement these if you are not doing so already. This helps me, you know, I'm not just I'm not just talking it, I walk it, you know what I'm saying? So yes. Also, really quick, um, if you're interested in this coloring book, like I said, it will be linked down below in the description box. If you're interested in this diffuser, I highly recommend it. It will be linked down below as well. Um, this video is not sponsored at all. You know, I'm just sharing some of my favorites with you guys. But I highly recommend all of these tips. I hope it helps you guys. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.